Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check a new product from SpeedyB after reviewing their camera and also their Bluetooth fuel adapter. Now they sent me their newest product which is a flight controller. In this video I'm going to go over the flight controller features and SpeedyB also kindly sponsored a nice giveaway so stay tuned because in the end of this video I'm going to give you the giveaway instructions. Inside the package we're getting the flight controller. And on the bottom of the package, we're also getting some screws, spacers, and also a 470 microfarad 35 volts capacitor. An instructions manual is not included, but it can be found online, and I'm going to put a link to it in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and start with the most unique feature of this flight controller. SpeedyB actually integrated the Bluetooth Yacht adapter into the flight controller, which means you will be able to connect and configure the flight controller using SpeedyB's app without having the need to connect an external UART adapter. The built-in Bluetooth module is enabled on the UART 5, and just like the external UART Bluetooth module, when the quadcopter is armed, it automatically turns off. So now I've got the flight controller powered up. SpeedyB's app is available both on iOS and Android. In order to use it, you will need to be running at least Android 4.3 and iOS 10. So download it, install it, and now let's open it up. And now you need to choose if you want to connect to the flight controller using a USB cable or using Bluetooth. You also have an option to try the app in demo mode. So if you just want to have a look around, you can enter the demo mode and you'll be able to play with all the settings. And it gives you a pretty good feel of the app and its features. But now let's connect to the real flight controller. Let's hit Bluetooth. Of course, you will need to enable Bluetooth on your device first. After doing a scan, it found our flight controller, SBF4. Let's press it. And you can see that now it's working. And you will be able to configure all the properties of the flight controller, which is pretty neat. So if you're on the go and you want to change the settings, for example, of your OSD, you can just press it. And I think that actually the interface of SpeedyB's OSD is better than the one of Betaflight because you can see that it will enable you to drag everything around in a more convenient way. Of course, you can enable and disable the elements. And uh, if you want to save it, hit save, or if you want to cancel, hit exit. And let's see which version it's running. So we also have access to the CLI. So these are some of the things that are not available for Betaflight OSD. Because, for example, setting up the OSD is not available on Betaflight OSD and also the CLI. So we can hit dump in order to see all the settings and the flashed version. So let's go all the way to the top. As you can see, it comes pre-flashed with SpeedyB F4 3.3.2 firmware. And if you wish, you can update it to the latest version, which is 3.3.3. .3. Besides the built-in Bluetooth module, this flight controller packs some other nice features. First of all, it features an F4 processor. It also has a built-in PDB and the maximum supported current is 200 amperes. It also supports batteries between 3 to 6S, which is great since 6S builds are becoming very popular. Of course, it supports Betaflight OSD, and also we can find next to each end of the flight controller the plus and ground pads for the ESC, and next to it we can find also the signal pad, so we have S1, S2, S3, and S4 over here, which is the classic Betaflight layout. Another nice feature of this flight controller is that it has a built-in LC filter and each 5 and 9 volt pad is attached to it so it should help to reduce noise on your video. And yes, this flight controller has a 9 volt pad which is great so it will enable you to connect it to a VTX. 5 volts is too low for VTXs even though it supports 5 volts it won't enable you in most of the cases to get the maximum output strength of the VTX. So this flight controller has a 9 volt pad we can find it over here next to the TX1, RX1 and the video out. So it's meant to be used with the VTX. Besides that, we can find over here the video in, the ground. We have over here TX3 and RX3, Signal 5, Signal 7 and Signal 6. So probably you're not going to use this flight controller with hexacopters, but if you wish, you can remap the Signal 5, 6 and 7 pads and use them with other accessories. Over here, we have the buzz minus and the plus 5 volts. We also have this DAC pad over here and also SCL and SDA pads over here. Together with the RX4 and the TX4, the purpose of these pads is to be used with a GPS. And you can find the diagram on SpeedyBase user manual. 
Finally, on the bottom left, we can find the connector for the LED. So we have the LED pad, plus five volts and ground. And on the right side, we can find the connector for the receiver. So we have the RSSI pad, 3.3 volts, RX2, ground, SBUS, and 4.5 volts pad. Yes, this flight controller has a 4.5 volts pad. That's a first for me. Apparently they think it's going to work better with the receiver and I think that I'm going to feature this flight controller on the build video so hopefully I'm going to see how it's going to perform pretty soon. In terms of dimensions, the weight of the flight controller is about 8.59 grams which is pretty light. Just as a comparison, the weight of the new flight controller from AJRC, the Flame V2, which I'm going to review pretty soon, is about 11.38 grams so the weight of SpeedyBeats flight controller is pretty light. Besides that, the distance between the mounting holes is the standard 30.5 millimeters. And let's see the outer dimensions. So including the battery pads, it's about 39 millimeters by 36.7 millimeters. And the thickness is about 4.8 millimeters. So overall, I think that SpeedyB really stepped up the game with this flight controller. It is priced at about $38, which is not bad considering that it has a built-in Bluetooth adapter which might be very handy, especially if you have an Apple device, since Apple devices does not fully support OTG. So if you have an Android device, all you have to do is just to obtain an OTG adapter and then connect to all beta flight supported flight controller and configure them with the micro USB port with SpeedyBeats app, which is free and you can just download it. But if you have an Apple device, it's a different story. So this Bluetooth module might be very handy. Besides that, I'm looking forward to see how the built-in LC filter is going to perform and I also think that adding the 9 volts pad is a great choice. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, one of you guys is going to win this flight controller, it's going to be shipped directly from SpeedyB. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and I'm also going to run this giveaway on Facebook. So if you wish, I'm going to leave a link in the comment section down below to my Facebook page so you can check it out and it's going to increase your chances of winning one. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this flight controller, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.